a sketch. One more portrait. Profile. Correction. Make sure I have room here with my structure. And hopefully we're getting some variation. We've got some, um, you know, in the way they look. And hopefully you're getting the same thing in, uh, you know, different ethnicities, different traits. And hopefully they look different, right? That's kind of the point of this, is that we're trying to look at those uh, things we practice with the features and everything and the head structure, and, but trying to vary it. And you can see her face kind of tilted forward instead of back. And again, I think she's got her chin up a little bit. Which I think is contributing to this, this look. Same as the last model we did. Actually, the last three. Must be a thing. Must be a model thing. When your chin up like that. Okay, which means this midway line would actually be something like this. She was looking normally. And trying to mark things. Let's see. So let me make sure I got, trying to get my halfway mark. Let me see. So her eyes. So I'm trying to do this one slanted like this, like as if she was, the head was straight. And that's way too high. a little better. Her eyes are really uh, far forward. So if you notice the other females had um, their eyes set back a little more. So let's see how this looks here. She's got a big, very big, beautiful eyes. And massive lashes probably have to be a uh, fake, <laughs> I think. Let's see. Okay, so I'm kind of drawing the more, the whole shape of the eye. See, eyelid, eye, okay, and then her forehead actually comes in, nose, okay, Okay, and then her lip comes forward a bit. She has uh, nice big lips. So you see all the variation in all these people, and, and they're all beautiful, right? And there's just so much variety that can that is still, you know, and not, I mean, there's no like one, you know, one mode of beautiful, and that's that's it. It's like there's a lot. I'm redrawing this, if you didn't notice. Didn't like something about it. Okay, so I can see your cheek here. Coming down like that. Okay, nose actually kind of goes behind her cheek. And then I've got a little nose ring. Didn't notice till now. Okay, her lip. And her lips are pretty much even with each other in terms of how far out they are. And I think that's due to her tilting her head back. She's obviously lifting up this. And her lip is just about even with her nose at this angle. Okay. So back, a little indent under the lip. And then around her chin, she has a nice little round chin here. And even it's so round, it goes like that before it hits the jaw. Very cute. 
the right. Okay, softer draw like that. All right, looking at her eyebrow, which is pretty high up over here. Okay. And her hairline is back here. And her ear, this angle looks kind of even below the eye, or right, right at the bottom of the eye. And then lip down here. Okay. Okay, okay. And her hair, all these uh, little, little clumps coming back here. And like rows here. Really dark under there, kind of pretty much a silhouette. And then all coming down in like a big ponytail here. These big kind of clumps here. Okay. Now you're gonna work with this. Use up the last of my mini pencil. I found my other one. All right, starting with the eye, of course. See a little bit of the uh, bottom eyelid right under there. All right, and the top eyelid. Remember the eyelid will go out a little further than the eyeball because it's got some width, as we've seen on the bottom eyelid, and you can see it a lot, quite often. Okay, how do these lashes go? Kind of down and up. Iris, and then the upper eyelid here, which kind of goes round and then straightens out a little bit. It gets a little better, it gets a little bigger, I think. Okay, and the lower lashes. And this goes down and then straightens out a little bit. Okay, I want to get the contour of the face here. It kind of rounds out here, the plane of the face. And comes behind the eye. And this little uh, slope of the nose. Round, much rounder on the end than the other ones, the other profiles we've done so far. All right, a little 
nose ring in there. Then we can see her cheek kind of cuts off our view of the nostril here. Okay, upper lip. Coming um, a lot more forward here. And then the lower lip. chin. Kind of add a little, um, add in a little corner of the mouth there. Okay, the round chin. Then jaw. neck coming from behind the jaw right there and then down get that eyebrow in there down the ear trying to get that shape and I got the let's do the curl first starting from about there coming up and in wraps in the ear then the knob kind of coming out into the notch, into the other notch, which comes around and becomes that little curved Y-shaped bump thing. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna do some hair now. Get the texture here. There we go, broken pencil. It's been too long since I broke one. It's about time. Okay, and then into this braid, which I'm gonna just kind of fake the outside of because Braid. Ponytail, that's what I meant to say. And okay, back here to her neck, shoulder. Okay, there we go. And her hairline, which is kind of difficult because she's got all these little uh, wisps there. I'm just looking for the darkest part of it. It's so dark under here, the shadow. Let's see, this goes down further. Okay. All right, so I'm going to add some of these little. Uh, Bisps here. I probably should do that at the end. Getting ahead of myself. But I'm going to keep doing it because I'm on it.
All right, so here we go with the hair. Looking for the dark, darkest values here. I want to fill all that in. Okay, pretty dark back here as well. I'm gonna start picking out some of those strands coming out of this these um, locks or grouped together rows of hair. Remember adding a lot of uh, dark values and stuff will help your drawing pop. Okay, let's see. So, add some shading in here, but it's not as uh, the direction of these rows of hair isn't as clear as a braid, you know, where it's, it's a lot more, a lot of different directions. But drawing is about communicating, so trying to find a line, find variation that kind of, uh, Gives that idea, right? There's no way I could get it perfectly accurate in any amount of reasonable time, or ever, or ever, anyways. But To the ponytail. And let's see, picking out some individual parts here so I can add a little uh, definition to them. And then I can't see the edge here because that's where the photo ended. So I'll fade it off there. that needed to be, let's see. Okay. Kind of lost that one there. I'm gonna have to darken. There we go. Just about there. Get some quick value down here. Shadow on the back of the neck. Cheekbone a little bit right here, which is right there, right? Cheekbone. Under the nose a little bit. Under 
chin and jaw. Okay, and around her eye. Let's see. Under her eye. A little bit up here. And the highlights over there. Right there, kind of highlight. Okay. Let's see here. All right, just looking for the darkest parts and then I'm done here. So under the jaw, as I squint, darkest beside the hair. Under the cheekbone, maybe a little darker. A little shade on the side of the nose. Mess that up. Try that again. Behind the ear. Almost missed that. All right. I think that'll do it for our female profiles. And again, just trying to get some differences and pick up on nuances on different uh, females and show that there's variety in how to, how to look for it and how to apply it and how to get some uh, different looking people, you know, with your drawings. And uh, yeah, and uh, we'll practice again some guys next time all right hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully you got some good drawings and i'll see you next time